Howdy everybody. Hope everybody's doing good today. I'm feeling good today. It's Saturday. Only thing I could ask for it. Well, it's not been bad. It's been uh it's been nice today. Really, it's been a little cloudy, but not not that bad. And I can't really complain. Um on our prayer list today, uh Keith and Linda Bowman need prayer for health concerns. We went to Walmart today. I needed some shirts, and by the way, I'll show them to you in a little bit. But here's one of them. Y'all need Jesus. They had some other ones, but I couldn't find my size. It had, it had like one more, I think, that said, I can't remember, it was something, you know, religious. But I didn't, they didn't have my size in it. Um, but anyway, Keith and Linda Bowman, but I got to talking to the cashier just like I do everywhere I go and, um, you know, let her know that I had a, a channel that I did a prayer request on and, um, she wrote these names down for me and said that they needed prayer really bad. And, uh, that's, that's great. I mean that is great and that and I've done that quite a bit I've come home and you can anybody could check with joy and the little bits of paper I bring home with people's names on it for our prayer list but that's what you do you you, you tell people you know you, you give them your testimony uh, you'll, you'll be able to tell if they really want to listen after very long anyway but uh, you know you're not supposed to quit not supposed to quit just keep going okay and Norma her stomach has been hurting her bad uh, I think she can go to the doctor I believe on Monday she would rather go to a regular doctor um, the prudent gals friend Randy was diagnosed with cancer Jennifer's friend is alert and her vitals are stable she's responsive but has some lung damage and that's the one that was in a fire and uh, they found her unconscious and had to air fly uh, you know use an air flight to I think I think it was Chattanooga um, and my sister-in-law Angel she did fine in her surgery but now she's in a lot of pain and she probably will be uh, for at least a couple weeks or so okay All right, let's set this over here. All right. And let's see here. Today our Bible reading comes from Ecclesiastes 3, 9 through 13. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. You know, uh, I, I try my best uh, to help anyone I can you know, if, if it's in, within my, my power to do so. And I have, uh, you know, I don't want to brag about any of it. It's not, you know, anything you'd brag about or anything like that. I'm just saying I, I try my best to help my fellow man. And I, I you know, uh, it, one of the things with me is I, I can't stand, uh, it bothers me a lot to know that people are hungry. That's the one thing that, that seems to bother me the most. And I've always been this way. And, you know, over the years, I've, uh, you know, helped people out as best I can. And uh, it just really, I can, and, and if there's any children and they're hungry, that, that'll really tear at my heart. And uh, any of my friends, or even if I don't know you, and, 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 you know, you need something. You know, these people that are homeless, yeah, they'll ask you for some money for a sandwich, and some of them don't want a sandwich, and you know that. 
but uh, like when I when I used to work every day, you know, except for a couple days a week, uh, I always brought my lunch, and if they asked me, I gave them my lunch, you know, and you could tell whether they wanted it or not, you know, right then. You know, there's some that really wanted it, and others that wanted it, I guess, to get their next drink or something. But uh, you know, I would uh, I would try to help anybody, but some people, you know, they don't want to be helped. But anyway, I didn't mean to get off subject, it's just a, a, a subject that's close to my heart, and I thought I would mention a few words about it. Okay. Now our devotions are entitled, Enjoying Beauty. The painting caught my eye like a beacon, displayed along a long hallway in a big city hospital. Its deep pastel hues and Navajo Nation American figures were so arresting, I stopped to marvel and stare. Look at that, I said to my husband, Dan. He was walking ahead, but I hesitated, bypassing other paintings on the wall to gaze only at that one. Beautiful, I whispered. Many things in life are beautiful indeed. Master paintings, scenic vistas, inspired crafts, but so is a child's smile, a, fr a friend's hello, a robin's blue egg, a seashell's strong ridges. To believe the burdens life can bring, God has made everything beautiful in its time. In such beauty, Bible scholars explain, we get a glimpse of the perfection of God's creation, including the glory of His perfect rule to come. We can only imagine such perfection, so God grants us a foretaste through life's beauty. In this way, God has also set eternity in the human heart. Some days life looks drab and futile, but God mercifully provides moments of beauty to ponder. The artist of the painting I admired, Gerald Curtis Delano, understood that. God gave me a talent to create beauty, he once said, and this is what he wanted me to do. Seeing such beauty, how can we respond? We can thank God for our eternity to come while passing to enjoy the glory we already see. Dear Heavenly Father, today I want to thank for everybody. Uh, mention everybody on our prayer list, Lord. They all need help. And... Uh, I'm sure there's plenty more out there, and if they <clears throat> if they need help, please help them too, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. Okay. Let me see here. No. I don't know the right thing. But this part here. Okay. And now it's time for Jokes of the day. Why was the bee flying with his legs crossed? He was looking for a BP station. Look, I got something here. Wait a minute. Hey, look. See, I hadn't really grown any yet. I'll tell you what. Look here. Look. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Come on. Say hi, everyone. Hi, I'm just a kitty. And my name is Kitty. <laughs> she has been all over the place today, y'all. She is just really curious and just flip flopping around. We got these little, just like a cloth balls, three of them for her. And she is just running them things up and down the hall. So she's happy. You know, she's feeling pretty good. She'll probably try to jump back up here. Now, where was I? <laughs> okay. What did the mama cannonball say to the papa cannonball? We're going to have a baby. <laughs> okay, chick chick. Nuts are so expensive nowadays, they cost you almond and a leg. Almond and a leg. <laughs> that don't sound cl too close to an arm and a leg, but what are you going to do? I mean, that's what it said. I didn't try to actually uh, voice it out. They cost you an almond and leg. Almond leg. Does that sound better? No, I'll work on it. You can't run through a campground. You can only ran because it's past tense. <laughs> I never was that great at English in school. I was, well, I was really crazy good in history, geography, 
uh, uh, history. I just, I still love it to this day. Uh, and I was pretty good in math. What do cats like to eat for breakfast? Mice Krispies. Do you? She's standing up over here. So, you gonna come back over here? Just, you wanna watch? She likes watching the tablet and stuff. And Martin, she'll take that paw and... Trying to... <laughs> okay, if you feel the need to build an ark because of all of the rain, just contact me. I know a guy. <laughs> I once got into so much debt that I couldn't even afford my electricity bills. Those were some dark times. <laughs> hey there. You gonna jump up here? Probably. A young deer in the woods learned to use all four hooves equally well. He was known to be bambidextrous. Oh, see? See, I knew it. Hey, I, I don't guess that was on TV. I mean, not TV. I don't guess that was on there. <laughs> hey, leave that alone. <laughs> she tore that bag right open, I guess, with the little claws. <laughs> and fell off the table. She tried jumping up here and grabbed a hold of this, you know, just a grocery bag. And she got a hold of the bag and pulled it over with her. You okay? Yeah, she's okay. She's still running around. <laughs> Man. You need some help? Well, she jumped up here and grabbed the bag or trying to pull up and pulled the bag over and fell over with it. You oh, no. might want to look and see where she is. <laughs> see if she's all right. She didn't make any noise, so she must be fine. Okay. Where was I? Never a dull moment now. One morning when I was seven, my mom was lecturing me about an untruth I told her. In response, I said, Honest, Mom, I didn't know I was lying. I thought I was just making it up. <laughs> huh? Huh? What's that? Okay. Whichever traffic lane you change to will always move slower than the one you left. This also applies to the lines you stand in as well. Of course... You know, you're standing there. Aldi's bad for it. Oh, yes, please. And then they say, uh, line three open, line three open. Everybody, ooh, fly over there. Okay, so you lose your place. Huh? And then this line starts moving. Two people in front of you have a problem. Some There's a problem, whatever it is, you know. And you're like, oh my goodness. Then you see the people that were behind you heading out to their car. <laughs> and then what do I do? Do I, that one's still a little bit shorter, uh, but this one's starting back up. Then you think, well, I'll go back over there. And then probably the same thing happened again. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Stan, today Facebook saved my life. Bert, how, Stan? It reminded me about my wife's birthday. Oh, no. Life is very short. Literally, it's only four letters long. Hmm. And now it's time for Joy's Joke of the Day. <laughs> what do you call a dog wearing earplugs? It doesn't matter. It can't hear you anyway. You can call it whatever you want. Alrighty. Okay, and now this shirt, I don't know what kind of material it is, but it feels really good. It's not like the silky like that other shirt I had on yesterday, that black Bengal shirt. But it feels like I don't know if it's porous or something, but it's it's one of those cool that'll supposed to help you get keep cool. I think all of them I got. I'm gonna show them here in a little bit. I needed some bad, most of my t-shirts. I don't ask for clothes. You can, anybody, Joy will tell you, Logan, I don't ask ever ask for clothes. Hey, if it, if you can still wear it, you know, and there's not a bunch of holes in it or something, hey, I'm good. I mean, really, I, but, you know, she wanted to get me some new 
Some nicer looking shirts. Okay, where was I? And so we've been busy today. Um, way back, uh, uh, quite a while ago, months ago, maybe years, no, about a year or something, uh, Joy lost our spare key for the car, and uh, uh, we never did get one, get one. So finally, today, they we asked uh, at the service department or whatever, at the dealership, and they... They made, they made us come down there and prepay for it, and then they would order it over a key. And it's not one of the ones that has electronics things in it or whatever. You know, There's no buttons to press or nothing. It's just a, a big plastic black thing with a key on the end. It's nothing, you know, I'm not going to skip town over it. You know what I'm saying? So, But we, we paid for it, and then whenever it comes in, we'll get our key back. So we did that. Um, Joy's glasses finally came in from America's Best. She got a good deal. Uh, you got the uh, exam and two pairs of glasses. The original deal is sixty nine ninety five for two pair, which is good. And you know that I mean it almost costs that much for the darn exam anywhere else. But she was able to get a regular pair for reading and then another pair uh, with bifocals, and it was eighty nine ninety five I think. And that's awesome, and they look really good. I tried to get her to let me take a picture. I'll, I'll try to sneak a picture in though. She is camera shy. Okay, where was I at? I don't know how I even got on this one. I'm on the wrong. I was talking. Okay. But yeah, a lot's been happening today. I'm about wore out, but I still feel good. I need to be up moving around, get some sun anyway. Okay, who am I even looking for? Okay, I remember now. Good green. We got a lot going on in here. Okay, here we go finally. And our woman yesterday, and everybody pretty much knew, Sally Struthers. That was the funniest show, though, on the family. It killed me. Why did it go back up here again? Come on. It went back down to the bottom again, like. And then... Hey, like I said, this thing does what it wants to sometimes. And everybody knew this, too. Tom Selleck Magnum. I like him a lot. I loved Magnum back in the day. Everybody watched Magnum. But uh, I love him better in... Uh, Blue Bloods. I like that role he plays. And I like those movies he made. It was like a series of movies where he was, like, it was westerns. And I, th I think it was Jake Stone or something. I could be wrong, maybe. But something like that. I liked all those. Now, okay. I'm going to show you these others here. If I can find them. There's so much stuff on here. I need to clean house a little, I think. Okay, who is it? Okay, yeah, here we go. But I think I got a younger picture, maybe, of him, if I can find it. Okay, no, those are older pictures. That's the older pictures. Well, this is how he looked during the Partridge family. He was Keith on the Partridge family. And, uh, you know, very popular singer, too. And... Okay, I can show that one younger, or she's older in the southern. I'll, I'll use this, because this is when, about the time she was also in the Partridge family, and she was Lori, you know, uh, Keith's sister. And now, so guess who you think it is in the comments, and we will let you know tomorrow. Now... It is. <gasps> tablet time, tablet time. Okay, let me look here. Mm -hmm. If y'all think that, if y'all have something like a, a picture of a dinner that you really enjoyed or you would like people to see or you're really proud of it, send it to me. 
just connect with me on Facebook or or you can do just Messenger. That way I, you can send your picture to me and I will show it on Tablet Time. Okay, I know I showed that because I remember and I think I showed that. I was talking and just scrolling on up there and I've gone, huh. I don't think that's it. Uh, okay, I remember showing that. I remember showing that nice pie. Can't, okay, here starts one. This is... Oh, I'll have to read it first. Um, Catalina chicken with loaded mashed potatoes. And it looks really good. And let me make it a little bit bigger. Mmm. And that was sent by Kim... Let's see. This is the. We ended up not making a homemade pizza last night. Oh my goodness. Joy wanted. Uh, Food City had a midnight madness sale, they call it. And the, the swaggerty sausage that I've showed before. It's right here, I think. Uh, they had it on sale. It was a midnight madness sale, so I think it was only on from. 12, uh, 12 in the afternoon until midnight, I believe it was. But uh, I don't know how many of y'all have ever tried Swaggerty Sausage. I've tried many. When I worked in the food industry, I sold the heck out of this stuff. And I actually went to pick it up for my company straight to the plant. I mean, where they, you know, where all the uh, hogs were and everything. And I actually watched them make this stuff, but I didn't like the first part at all. So, anyway. Um, yeah, this stuff's awesome, and they had it on sale for $5.99. They usually have it on for $4.99. Like at Walmart, the same stuff, the same exact thing is about uh, almost $9, I think. It's either 8 or 9 So, we wait until Food City has it on sale and has one of these Midnight Madnesses, and we always buy it then. So that's why we went there, and then we went ahead while we were there and started looking at the pizzas because it was getting a little late, and uh, Joy saw this pizza, and she wanted it. And, and they had a big Fago 3 liters, and y'all know that's the big bottle. They had them for 99 cents. And then this pizza, I think it was like, oh, I think it was four ninety nine or five ninety nine, But it is Smokehouse Pizza. It has... Mozzarella and cheddar, barbecue sauce, Canadian bacon, Italian sausage, bacon, and red onion. I, I can't handle any sausage on a frozen pizza. They all taste, to me, like, I don't know, cardboard. So I couldn't eat the sausage on mine. And it's just, you know, but the pizza was awesome. I don't know why. Can't they make a supreme pizza and put something else on there besides sausage? You know, because you, you can tell they'll load it up with that sausage. But there'll be like, you know, eight pepperonis or something. Like, what the heck? But this was really good, y'all. It was something different. And she saw it, and that's what she wanted. And here's a picture of it, um, you know, on the plate. It was really good. I didn't add anything to it because I wanted to see how good it was. Normally, I probably would have put more cheese. But the Canadian bacon on it was very good, though. And I don't know if y'all could even get that uh, Craven. It's called Craven. Uh, I don't even know if y'all can get that brand elsewhere because I see a lot of stuff, you know, on other people's shows that, um, what would I do? That, uh, You know, I've never seen before. Okay, where am I? Okay, I showed the, okay, here we go. Here's a here's something. I'll need to look at it. Um, look at Wilbur wearing his pants down low like he's some kind of teenager or something. Ah <laughs> but <laughs> the old man back there got it pulled up to their chest. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Joy. She's probably sent that. And um, my, Logan's, my son, and Logan's f best friend is Angel. 
And um, he's been sending Logan some pictures of stuff that he likes and that he gets and stuff and wants people to know about. Well, obviously, I didn't know about this. Dunkin' Donuts has a breakfast bowl now, okay? And he went there, and there's this is just a 10-second video. Let me see if I can make it bigger. I'm just showing it like it is. Not even the full cup. Not even a full cup. Well, that doesn't surprise me a bit. But it actually looks good, and he said it was good. I don't know how much it was or anything, uh, but uh, I like stuff like that. I like those little, uh, Orida's got some kind of a little breakfast thing like that, a cup. And then Jimmy Dean's got one too, but all it says is sausage and cheese. I think I can put some cheese on my sausage, you know, but you got to add an egg, I guess. But still, I mean, come on, there wouldn't be nothing but some shredded cheese and sausage crumbled up in there. But the one from uh, Orida had little peppers and onions and stuff in it and i think i got ham or something or bacon but it was really good too but it, it wasn't full either at all i don't know why they they it's like the bag of chips you know they're half full okay this is pop tarts frosted strawberry cereal and i saw this at walmart have i got that yeah uh i saw that at walmart in the middle aisle and I think I saw, I saw this one at Walmart, too, and I think this one would be good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros. Oh, yes. Like I said, I don't eat a lot of cereal, but and I, but I never eat it in the morning. I always eat it, you know, just whenever. It's like a snack. And I don't know about this for me. Sour Patch Kids cereal. I think I saw a couple reviews, and they said it was like, just sour for just a minute and then it was like sweet or whatever one or the other either back either sour first or sweet first but this one is uh dipping dots cookies and cream i guess that's the one he wanted showed right there and i think that's one more thing we get these a lot now, aldi has some cheap ones too the french toast sticks the cinnamon ones um yeah they got some cheap ones at, at aldi Here's lunch. We were running around and stuff. Got me a pal's, uh, a junior pal with cheese, Frenchy fries, and a peachy tea. Oh, peachy tea. We also have raspberry, but I like that peachy tea. Okay, now we got a few jokes. We found that your child doesn't interact well with mobile devices. They're like, oh no, something wrong with him. <laughs> no, I mean, there's kids out there. I mean, we didn't have nothing like that, but we were always outside playing, playing cowboys and Indians, war, football, baseball, basketball, hockey, uh, tennis, badminton, anything, jarts. Remember jarts? Man, somebody did get hit with... Didn't go in them, but I mean, it came close. It like cut them some, but them things had metal, pointy, you know, sharp ends to them. And you threw them into these holes, uh, like a hula hoop thing or something like that, if I remember right. You threw them big, you know, and it's supposed to land over there, kind of like you would horseshoes, if you know, but you're doing it with them things. They were dangerous. <laughs> I can't believe they ever got, uh, you know, to the public and much less in kids hands oh my goodness that's the craziest thing i've ever seen when i refer to the old me i mean the young me <laughs> but yeah they had a lot of toys back then you know that was that were dangerous okay even though we only have two kids they seem like 12 is there a line for that on our tax form Look at me, kids. Let's see. Here's... There you go. I just liked you on Facebook. I miss good boy. <laughs> and then, uh, beards are really trendy these days. I'm thinking of letting mine grow out. 
Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think that's finally it, y'all. Oh, I got to set this up. Won't be, won't fall or anything right now. Okay. Now, show that. I'll go ahead and throw these little things into the shirt. We got some more of these. One of us, I can't eat pecan pie, but these are only like 50 cents. They're really good. I better enjoy it because we're not getting all this stuff next month. Logan, you know, y'all you know he's crazy about Reese's. I saw these dipped, Reese's dipped pretzels. Uh, and they're Snyder's pretzels, which are really good. I got lemon, lemon pie. They're like little bitty pies. Huh? Awesome. And pecan again. So they both got enough pecan. I just can't eat it. And Axe. Axe Dark Temptation. Let me see. Well, we got to do to open it. Uh, you can smell it with that. He's got a little plastic thing here, but you can still. That really smells good, y'all. really does. Okay. I got me now this is an example of the kind of things I could probably eat a little bit of I mean they got sugar in them but uh, the Haribo star mix you got the cherries and all different kinds in it the little gummies and it's, it's supposed to be favorites um, but these are the best y'all if y'all have never tried Haribo and you see them please try them you'll love them if you like jelly you know like gummy things um I think Joy got this we're a Reese's family. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's nothing else. I don't think the cat knocked anything else over. This is what we're having tonight. I got it in this one bag. I'm going to show you because I got part of it at Food City and I haven't showed it yet. So part of this haul is Food City. Um, these we already had uh, from Walmart. They're the great value. Batter mix seasoned crinkle cut fries. Batter, oh yes. Batter mix season or whatever. That's bound to be good, y'all. Okay. This is, I had crab, crab rangoon the other day and I got one more still in the freezer, but I'm saving that for when I have the orange chicken and it'll be like surf and turf. But I had these other ones, so we're gonna have these, the cream cheese wontons, and I've already been told that these aren't quite as good as the crab, but I wanted to try them out, see how they were, because we love cream cheese. So that, the fries and the cream cheese wontons, and this we got there, it's Budweiser beer, bo beer battered cod. And it's got to be good, y'all. It's got to be. So we're having that, and then they had, let's see, this was on sale for $4.99, regular $8.25. The shrimp was already regular, was also regularly $8.25 at Food City, and it was $4.99. We got jumbo, jumbo butterfly shrimp, biggins, supposedly. So I'll uh I'll take a picture of that uh tonight. Oh, I got dinner, so it doesn't oh, as bad. And now, here's my shirts, and I got one pair of pants. Well, like sweatpants. We, uh, we have a Chevy car, and I like Chevy shirts. Chevrolet. So, that's one of them. Oh, I can't put it on that. And before I forget, I'm looking right at this, so I better do it. We got summer coming on. Last year, our air conditioning in our unit, you know, we got a unit that's, that's uh, gas, and it, it uh, does the heating and the cooling. And um, I don't think, I think it's electricity for the AC part. But uh, it was performing really bad last year. So I expect, you know, unless we can come up with the, you know, some some money to get the thing looked at. I'm afraid that even if they look at it, you know, that it's going to take too much to get it going. 
you know, good. I'm talking about the air conditioning. The heat worked fine all winter. Um, that's the main concern to me is the heat, you know, that it heats, you know, everything. But um, it may need Freon or something, you know. We're, we're going to find out. I, I've got a friend, I think, that could look at it. But um, anyway, we figured we're going to need another fan. And they had a good price on these. And uh, it's better, you know, to have a, a fan that oscillates, that moves. So we got this one with a, a stand. And it was $19 and a few cents or whatever. Less than 20. And that will move them that will move the air around a lot better. And you know, we still got other fans too. So and we got a ceiling fan in here, and there's a ceiling fan in Logan's room. I wish there was one in our room. There's I don't know why. Uh I put the one in here myself and the one in Logan's room too, but uh I can't. I can't get up on a bed and shaking around trying to do that stuff real like she won't let me get on a ladder or anything anymore so till someday if I get in remission I'll be able to do all those things I really hope so okay now here's and come and put this frozen baby in the in here for, if you don't mind uh, it's been out a little while okay Got this shirt. I really like this because I know people like these old trucks. And it says, what's that say? Tradition driven by freedom. I like that. They had like, you know, uh, patriotic type shirts and stuff. And I like this one. I like that old truck. Okay. Um... This is that same material as that one that's kind of porous stuff. Let's see if it says anything. This is George. The brand is George. Um, I thought it said something on it somewhere else, but this, this button's up. And through here on the front. And get it up here where you can see it a little better. And yeah. I like it. It's like a charcoal colored. And... I got one pair of, I got some other pants, but they're a little rough. I have to, I can't wear a belt because of where my bag is on me and my hernia and stuff like that. It messes with them. But it has the drawstrings. It's got a nice wide, you know, part that stretchy. Um, some athletic works is just dry works. It probably has that wicking stuff too. That wicks any perspiration away. But that's them, and I really needed them. Some of them were a little too long that I had, and they get a little ratty at the bottom, you know, when they drag the ground or whatever some. And they, they look pretty rough after a while. But I think that's it, y'all. We we've had a really busy day. Uh, I've been all over, and um, we got... We're just going to have that to... Seafood Saturday tonight, and then we're gonna chill and watch us a movie on Netflix, have some family time together. So, please press that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and press that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I appreciate everybody. Let me know what you're having for dinner. God bless. Bye bye.